The Mexican is a fantastic example of how to actually build a restaurant. The owner, Dennis, calls it his man cave, only this has got a five-star luxury kitchen, um, a pool table, a, a sensational copper-topped tequila bar, and an assortment of steel, wood, and Indonesian stone in the built environment. Using fully imported and authentic Mexican peppers, such as habanero, jalapeno, poblano, serrano, and tomatillo allows them to make their own unique and flavoursome sauces. One of the owners is half Mexican and that enables them to ensure an authentic menu, of course. Also, throughout the restaurant, there's a very interesting selection of Mexican artwork, centering particularly on themes of Day of the Dead. These jalapeno poppers are a delightful pop-in-the-mouth experience. They're medium spicy, not at all overwhelming in terms of uh, the taste. The peppers are de-seeded and stuffed with two types of cheese, cream cheese and a Monterey Jack cheese. The creamy dipping sauce is made from a smoke-dried jalapeno pepper called chipotle. Chili rellenas made from an imported poblano pepper and stuffed with spicy chorizo sausage and again Jack Monterey cheese giving it a smoothness that's very enjoyable. A lovely savoury red sauce made from ancho chili completes the pepper with sides of Spanish rice with chipotle chili spice and wheat fried beans with bacon, lard made from real lard and feta cheese with jalapeno juice to moisten them. As Dennis the owner says, this is heart attack city but worth dying for. A jalapeno popper stuffed with cream cheese, then a jumbo shrimp wrapped in smoky bacon and fried to a golden crisp, uh, served with a lemon garlic butter sauce, absolutely exquisite. Habanero shrimp tacos, a teaser with a promise of an encore to follow. There's a unity of taste between the shrimp and the taco, which is uh, braised and tossed in the habanero sauce. Speaking of their signature sauce, it's a combination of this lovely habanero pepper, a splash of white vinegar, some garlic and cumin, some onions, and a touch of sugar. A crisp slaw and a homemade sour cream is a great way to add a cooling effect to the dish if needed. These sopapillas are a lovely way to end uh, the meal. A lightly fried flour tortilla coated in cinnamon sugar and bathed in honey and butter. A very naughty way to end the meal. To complement the wonderful food, the Mexican has a range of very interesting craft beers. This one I've got next to me, she's called the Queen of the Night of Pale Ends. That's a really creamy and smooth taste, really nice in the mouth. This next one is a wheat-based German Hefeweizen beer. That's got a really nice light tangy tartness and a hint of honey and honey flowers. By the time you've finished your glass, she will truly have become your immortal beloved. And now for the habanita, evolved from the margarita. The spill on it is to infuse the habanero pepper in tequila for 18 to 24 hours. You get this uh, lime and salty taste, 
and then with the addition of uh, Cointreau and the Aberano pepper, a beautiful orangey Aberano taste. After 15 seconds, a beautiful glow at the back of the throat. It's worth waiting for. This is a great way to end the evening with a uniquely served iced water bath uh, tequila. In conclusion, the Mexican is a great place to eat. It's totally authentic. The ingredients are uh, authentically uh, Mexican, actually shipped over from Mexico. It's a great place to come with friends, to relax, to eat. The space is creatively designed with Mexican art on the walls. Bring your friends here and have a great time. See you here soon. Hasta mañana.